So only what people can see is above that surface. But what they can't see is what's what been the work that's been done, the root system has been built, the know-how, the process, the humility, the way you guys handle more than anybody in the city. One step at a time. Right? But the root system's in place. The root system's in place. It's week number one of this NFL season and time for the Mike McCarthy Show, powered by Reliant Energy here inside the Globe Life Studios at the beautiful Star in Frisco. Bill Jones along with Cowboys head coach Mike McCarthy. And uh, coach, it's been a long off season, and here it is, season opener in Cleveland against the Browns. You put in so much work in the offseason, the preseason, really four years work, worth of work going into the year number five. I can't help but mention right off the top, you've got your rooted uh, he, uh, hoodie on right there, and uh, this is a big moment for this team, isn't it? I mean, one thing about pro football, it's always cool to get a free t-shirt or a free sweatshirt, <laughs> so I mean, that, that never gets old. But yes, I mean, rooted is our theme for this year. It's really off the analogy uh, of a Chinese bamboo tree. Uh, you know, if you if you know the history of it, you know, it, you, it, you plant it, plant the seeds, and for four years, all you, all you do is water it. Um, so, you know, people may not see really the true results uh, of what's building. And then in year five, within a five week period, the tree grows to 80, 90 feet. So, and then it's all about the root system. It's all about, you know, belief in one another, how we do things, how we approach it. And, um, you know, I, I think our, play, our players really enjoy the, the thought process. And uh, by the way, the fifth year has been pretty good to the coach in the past. His previous stop uh, won a Super Bowl uh, with the Green Bay Packers. All right, let's uh, talk about your team. Let's start with your quarterback, uh, Dak Prescott, as uh, he goes into his ninth season coming off a terrific year last year uh, where he was second in the MVP voting, led the league in uh, touchdown passes as well. Uh, how nice is it for you working alongside him and seeing his growth in this offense? Oh, I mean, I, it's incredible. I mean, this is this is where you want to be as a head coach, as a play caller. You know, you want to be, you know, totally in step with your with your quarterback. Uh, we, you know, I felt like we accomplished that last year. Uh, I've been really focused on uh, spending as much time possible because I, I think it's like anything in this league. You know, whatever you did last year, people are gearing up to take it away from you this year. So we want to take that that step. Uh, together, you know, in our process and in our preparation, but you know, at the end of the day, the connection that he has with his teammates, the whole team in the locker room, uh, particularly the, the perimeter group, uh, they've put a lot of extra work in away from away from the facility. So just thankful for his approach, his attitude, and and really the whole group. Uh, just I, I, I can't say enough about our locker room. These guys got an incredible attitude, and their and their work and connection is is what you're looking for in the off season through training camp and. It's time to go. All right, and uh, you talk about the connection Dak has with uh, C.D. Lamb coming off a 135 catch uh, season last year. What's the ramp up period been like for C.D. here the last couple of weeks since he got here? Uh, just trying to be smart. Um, I mean, C.D.'s in, you know he's he's never out of shape, so I mean that's that's not a concern. Um, you know, I, I just think you got to you got to trust the science of it. You know, trust the numbers. Uh, so we're you know we're working working our way through the week and you know look for him to be ready to go. You know, come Sunday and. And you know we'll talk openly, you know, Saturday just to see if we need to put a number on it or not. So, but uh, yeah, he looks great. All right, and a challenge going up against this uh, Cleveland uh, team, and particularly on defense, uh, number one in the league last year. And of course, you have a history going up against Jim, uh, Jim Schwartz' coach team, going back to his days with Detroit. What do you see when you see that Cleveland defense? Uh, I, I see Jim. Uh, you know, I go. You know, Jim and I go all the way back to when he's at Tennessee and I was in New Orleans. So, uh, have called a lot of games against him. Uh, and, and I think uh, to give credit to a coordinator, when you see a common threads, you know, of, of the way his defenses play throughout his career, you know, Tennessee, Detroit, Philadelphia, and now Cleveland. So uh, it's going to be a salty bunch. Um, fundamentally, technique very sound. Uh, he's going to, you know, there, there's core concepts and schemes that he that he believes in, and uh, we'll see those Sunday. And uh, but just like all of us, you know, every, we've had the whole off season to study one another and. I'm sure there'll be some wrinkles and uh, some adjustments, and that's why we play the game. All right, so much more to get into with the coach here in just a little bit. Guess who uh, had his contract renewed apparently this year? He's been on a week-to-week -week forever. David Moore of the Dallas Morning News will be here in oh, just man. a moment. We'll get his take when the Mike McCarthy Show continues in a moment. The Mike McCarthy Show, powered by Reliant is brought to you by blockchain.com. Make your crypto play today. Ford, your North Texas Ford dealer. Ford is the best in Texas. 
Bank of America, the official bank of the Dallas Cowboys, and by Miller Lite, the only beer of the Cowboys. This segment is brought to you by Blockchain.com. Make your crypto play today. The Mike McCarthy Show, powered by Reliant Energy, continues now. Bill Jones here inside the Globe Live studio. And look who is here for another year. It's David Moore of the Dallas Morning News, sportsdaydfw.com. And the coach, I must say, was legitimately happy, I think, that you're back for another week. I, I think he disguised that. And I think the key phrase there is another week. <laughs> <laughs> my, my contractual status is check back next week and we'll let you know if it's happening. All right, which brings me to the running back room on this team. Do we ah, need to check back next week? Segue. Yes. <laughs> Do we need to check back next week who is going to be getting the most uh, getting most of the carries on this team? I, I believe you do, and uh, that, that's it. I know everyone wants to, and in fact, we were talking to Mike McCarthy earlier, and you know, how do you find committee? How is this going to work? And this is not the same type of running back situation that most Cowboy fans are used to. In fact, you have to go back, I, I believe, to 2012, I think it was, right around there when DeMarco Murray and Felix Jones were the leading rushers. I believe it was 667 yards and about 410. I, I think it's going to take on that sort of composition. And I would anticipate uh, Ezekiel Elliott will start, and uh, there's a good chance he will be the leading rusher in this game, or at least have the most attempts. I'm not sure that'll be the case in week two. I, I think this is really going to be a week to week proposition the way this group is currently structured. And you're gonna have a plan going in, but, but as you know, I mean, if a, if a guy gets some traction and, and breaks some things, I think he'll probably get more carries than envisioned. But I don't think they go into any week going, it, it's not like it was several years ago when they said, okay, Ezekiel Elliott, you take the two possessions and Tony Pollard will rotate you in for one. I don't think it's going to be that defined. And by the way, that depth chart has Zeke Elliott, it has Rico Dowdle, it has Hunter Lipke and Deuce Vaughn, and oh, by the way, a guy named Dalvin Cook is on the Dalvin practice Cook, squad. Yes. Right. And, and insurance, and also, if any of those guys stumble or this back by committee isn't working, he is poised to move in uh, sooner rather than later, I would say. All right, how about starting four rookies in a season opener? How about that? Yeah, I think, uh, I, I believe the Cowboys will tell you that, it, that appears to be the first time after scrupulous scrupulously going through the files probably the first time since the merger in 1970 that the cowboys will have four rookie starters on opening day uh mike mccarthy i thought had a good quote about that uh asked him if he was comfortable doing that or has become more comfortable the longer he's been in the league and he said i don't know about comfortable i don't know that you, when you go to playbook the coaching handbook 101 that it says on page 16, start as many rookies as you can in week one. He said, but I am confident, and this is just the way of the NFL world now, and, and these guys are in the position where they, they've earned it and deserved it. And, of course, it's Tyler Guyton and Cooper Beebe on the offensive line. Maris Leah Fowl at linebacker and Kalen Carson at uh, linebacker. David Moore, you aced the test this week. <laughs> We appreciate it very Again, much. Again, like the running back room, week to week. Okay, we'll see if David Moore returns next week. And up next here on the Mike McCarthy Show, a veteran in the secondary, Jordan Lewis joins us. This segment was brought to you by Blockchain.com. Make your crypto play today. This segment is brought to you by Windstar World Casino and Resort. Proud to be the casino of the Dallas Cowboys. Please game responsibly. Welcome back to the Mike McCarthy Show, powered by Reliant Energy. Time to check in with an eight-year veteran in the Cowboys secondary, the Ed Block Courage Award winner from last season. That would be one Jordan Lewis. Um, it felt really good. Uh, just all the hard work that I had in the offseason uh, with Britt and um, the training staff, just understanding that, you know, it's going to be um, an uphill battle um, from the spring and, and going into camp with knowing that we're going to miss camp and, and being, at, being able to perform that year and, and giving guys that, that, um, that production that I had last year and showing the guys that I can still be the same guy. It felt good that they really appreciated and they voted me for the Ed Block Courage Award. So he brought, you know, just 
like just different, you know, the varieties of different things. Uh, you're going to see guys doing a lot of different things in a lot of different spots. So uh, uh, he's going to mix it up. Um, he's going to mix it up and uh, give quarterbacks some, you know, some problems and make sure that they, they're thinking and they have to have a ticking client time in their in their head and see what they got to do and, and read our defense instead of, you know, just going out there and understanding what we already in. Oh, it's going to be really tough. Um, I, I really think they have some of the best route runners in the league, especially, you know, from, from one to three. Um, the guy, Elijah, um, he's really good. Uh, Coop, of course, and uh, Jerry, Judy, all those guys can get open. And um, all South Florida guys, so, you know, they, they train together. They understand how to how to get open and, and, and release and, and different things like that. And uh, I, I feel like it's going to be a really good challenge. Um, we've got some things that, you know, mix it up for those guys. And it's going to be a, a fun challenge to go out there and see. He has a variety of different things that he can do at his disposal when he's running around. So, I mean, of course, you got to feel for him. You like, you know what he likes to do, but you still got to go out there and, and, and cover it. It's, it's so explosive. When you go out there, it's just a different feel. So, I mean, you, you have a feeling for what he wants to do. Even Jerry Judy. I mean, I have some, you know, some, uh, I played with him a few times. And, and But those guys, you got to go out there and, and, and feel it, you know, uh, when you go out there in game day. So, it's definitely um, understanding what they like to do, but at the same time, you got to go out there and, and, and perform. And, and fill it for yourself. So let's take a look at now what Jordan Lewis and the Dallas defense is going to be facing in this Cleveland Browns team. Will McClay joins us. We got the telestrator out here for the first time in the new season. Let's take a look starting with the running back. Of course, Nick Chubb is out. It's Jerome Ford who gets the start. Leading rusher last year. Really good player. We're going to look at him here. He's got vision and burst. They're going to set it up. He's going to set up blockers. Now you see it here. He's, he sets up every block and then he explodes the second level and then takes it for 60 plus yards with a little juice. A little prime example of what he can do. All right, at tight end, an uber athletic tight end in David Njoku. Yeah, I mean, they run the ball. They led the league in time of possession, play action pass and tight end down the middle of the field. You're going to see him here make a quick move and he's, he runs at 4-6, four, 4-5. Four, but you see the separation of the quarterback, trust him, and then throw in the ball. They have weapons offensively. They played five quarterbacks and went to the playoffs. All right, another one of the weapons for Deshaun Watson. Of course, we're all familiar with Amari Cooper. And uh, Amari coming off another stellar year last year, a five-time Pro Bowl. Yeah, here's the big thing with him is he's fast, explosive, great route runner. They get you in single high. He's going to double move you here. You see him here. All of his traits come in on one play. He, good release. Now the stop start, making a DB. Uh, stop his feet, and then he's able to go vertical and then take it to the house. So explosive routes, all those things. All right, let's go to the defensive side of the football. The defensive player of the year last year out of Arlington Martin High School in Texas A&M, and that is Miles Garrett. Yeah, just watching him. They do a lot of things with him here, and you see you're going to have to have a plan for him. They're going to block him. He sees the chipper. He beats two people, and then he chases down the quarterback. So you talk about freak athleticism, size, and then – football intelligence and that freak athleticism it's a 41 vertical for him back at uh, the combine when he was the number one overall pick in 2017 another look at him on the right side okay now they got a plan for him okay we talk about 2.3 we'll look at the clock but they're also going to try and block him with three people you got to have a plan he sees the chipper the guard comes over he splits him and then there's a sack in 2.8 seconds all right they got stars at all three levels of the defense let's go to the linebacker position second round pick a couple of years ago three years ago out of notre dame number six Jeremiah Owusu Koromoa, J-O-K. Yeah, I call him J-O-K. <laughs> just want to look at him play here. What he does is play fast and sideline to sideline and great instincts. All right, you see him here. He's going to read the blocking scheme. He's going to beat the, the lineman climbing, and then there's a tackle there just looking at his speed and his ability to make plays all over the field. You see some of the reasons why the Browns had the number one defense in the league last year. Will McClay, we appreciate it, and the coach rejoins us when the Mike McCarthy Show continues in a moment. This segment was brought to you by Windstar World Casino and Resort. Proud to be the casino of the Dallas Cowboys. Please game responsibly. Welcome back to the Mike McCarthy Show, powered by Reliant Energy. Bill Jones alongside the head coach who rejoins us now. Let's uh, talk about your defense a little bit and uh, 
How about uh, working alongside a guy that you went up against so many times in that NFC North, uh, Mike Zimmer, your uh, knee def defensive coordinator? What's it, what's it been like? I uh, really enjoy working with Mike. It's been great to have him here. I, I think, you know, number one, you, we wanted to make, you know, a change, and, and I think that's important after being in a system, you know, three years. I mean, you're, you're going to, you know, you're never going to be the same year to year, and, and I think this has just been a, a great, great addition. Uh, schematically, it's a whole different approach. Um, not a whole different, I shouldn't say that, but there, I mean, there's variation to it that obviously our, our opponents are gonna, are, are gonna be challenged with. Um, it, it's a scheme and his aggressiveness and you know, his, his, his demeanor and discipline is something that I've always respected and enjoyed competing against. So uh, personally, it's, it's, it's been cool. I mean, it's, it's, great to, it's great to have another guy, you know, older than you in the building. <laughs> and uh, you're looking at me or, oh, okay. No, just, uh, older than you, okay. Uh, uh, Kevin Stefanski, what a season Cleveland had last year going yeah. through. They had five different quarterbacks that they used. Deshaun Watson is back. He was five and one in the six starts he had last year. What kind of challenge is it going up against a quarterback like him? Well, he's multidimensional. You know, I, I think if you just look at their team. I mean, uh, they did a great job. You know, I thought Kevin did a phenomenal job of you know sticking to the blueprint of running the football, playing really good defense, especially at home. I think they're eight and one at home, uh, so you know that's part of our challenge here. And you know, and he makes them different. You know, so they're they're different on offense, and to, to be able to get done what they did last year with with five quarterbacks, that, that's very difficult. So uh, this is an excellent football team we're getting ready to play. How are you excited to once again unleash Micah Parsons? I mean, you, we go through the preseason, and during the preseason games, we get shots some on the sideline. You can just tell he wants to be in, in there, even if it's a preseason game. He says he's lost 10 pounds from last year. Uh, he's in great shape, and how he's get, everyone's wondering how he's going to be used in this Mike Zimmer defense. How excited are you to see uh, uh, Parsons back out there? Well, I, the first thing is what you've said. I mean, he's lighter, and, and he's uh, just so, so explosive, and I mean, he looks great, and I think the ability to – Move him around, you know, is, is something I think Mike and the staff's done a really good job. But yes, I mean, he's he's such a weapon, um, and it's it's important for us to give him those opportunities. This game features uh, two of the premier pass rushers in the league. You can get the NFL Defensive Player of the Year on the other side. Flipping back to your offense and doing what you can against Miles Garrett and understanding there's their stars throughout that uh, Cleveland uh, defense. But the challenge you're going up against Garrett, what's that like? I mean, you know, M Miles has the bullseye. Make no mistake about it. I mean, welcome to the NFL, Tyler Guyton. I mean, it's just this will be a great opportunity for, for our young guy and uh, just have great respect for what he's done. And, you know, he's he's done it at such a high level now for you know multiple years. So. Uh, but it, it starts with him. You know, he brings a tremendous energy to their defense, to their to their whole football team. So uh, he's definitely a focus for us. And how about the progress of Tyler Guyton and Cooper Beebe, uh, two rookies on your offensive line here? Yeah, I'm I'm, I'm very happy where they are. I mean, I, I think just you know making the decision as timely as we did, I thought that was important uh, to make sure we, we give these these young men the opportunities through reps. And um, you know they're they're doing a nice job. But there's I mean there's there's going to be a first for everything. This is going to be their First away game is going to be the first game, and uh, but they're doing a really good job. All right, coming up, we wrap up the Mike McCarthy Show in just a moment. Closed captioning is brought to you by the Texas Lottery. Cowboys scratch tickets from the Texas Lottery are here. Play today. Final couple minutes of the Mike McCarthy Show, powered by Reliant Energy. Let's talk special teams for a moment. Everyone talking about the dynamic kickoff. How much time has the mad scientist John Fossil spent in the lab devising different things to, that he might be able to do, not only on the offensive end, but on the defensive end, defending against this thing? I mean, in reality, probably well over three years. I mean, <laughs> this right. conversation has been going on in John's office for um, really – all through the you know introduction to USFL and, and looking at all those tapes, so um, you know going through the mechanics of uh, being part of the rule change, you know I, I think is gives us an, you know an advantage a little bit. Um, but you know that, that special teams coordinator community is very very close, so uh, he, he's put a lot a lot of time into it, and, and and I do. I mean obviously we have an exciting returner in, in Turpin, and you know I'm, I'm hopefully he'll get some opportunities. But it's uh, it's it, I think it'll be great to have it back in the game. Um, how many opportunities? I mean, that's what time will tell. Um, but you know, we, we you know we we feel like we've been able to really 
go through the, the growing process and and you know we're looking forward to you know playing an outdoor game and hopefully getting some opportunities. All right, it's going to be fun. 3:25 kickoff Dallas time in uh, Cleveland. Good luck against those Browns. Thank you, Bill. And we appreciate all of you joining us here for the Mike McCarthy Show. And we will see you again next week when the Cowboys play their home opener against the New Orleans Saints. The Mike McCarthy Show, powered by Reliant, was brought to you by blockchain.com make your crypto play today ford your north texas ford dealers ford is the best in texas bank of america the official bank of the dallas cowboys and by miller light the only beer of the cowboys